Hello, believers. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you know why I call you believers? You that is watching me right now is because you are a chosen one. Because as long as you believe in our Lord Jesus Christ, as long as you accept that Jesus Christ is real, there is nothing on earth that you will seek that you will not find. Let me prophesy unto somebody that is watching right now. Every door that has been shut from January to October this year, from this moment, that door is open for you in the name of Jesus. Any one of you that is looking for the fruit of the womb, from today, that womb is fertilized for a new baby in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is sick, no matter the condition of the sickness, God is a healer. He will heal you by the end of this year in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Wherever that sickness is, hear the voice of Master Jesus. Disappear. Disappear. That body does not belong to you. That body is the temple of the living God. So you don't have a space in that body. Right now, that body receives healing in the name of Jesus. Those of you that are looking for promotion in your workplace, doors of promotion open for you in the name of Jesus. There shall be testimonies of victories before the ending of this year. There shall be thanksgiving. At least from January to December, we should be able to thank God for what God has done for us. So many people slept, they couldn't wake up. So many people had accidents, they died. So many are in the hospital sick. But you are alive. You can breathe, you can sleep and wake up. Give glory to God. There shall be testimony. There shall be thanksgiving before the ending of this year. In the name of Jesus, every door that has been shut against you will be open for you in the name of Jesus. It's just for you to believe. Believe you don't need to bring money to God. You just need to believe. That is just, is that not just simple sacrifice for you to do? Just believe. And the Spirit is watching. That is why I always emphasize on the power of the Holy Spirit. You need it. If you don't need it, go and lock up yourself in one room and call upon God to, have, uh, to send down the Holy Spirit upon you. That is what the disciples did. Jesus told them, go to the upper room, lock up yourself there and call upon me. And the Holy Spirit actually came down and somewhere speaking in tongues, prophesying, doing so many kinds of things. If you don't have one and you want to have one and you are dying to have one, go to your room. Go to one space in your room and call upon God to send down revival upon you and the Holy Spirit will come. And when the Holy Spirit comes, I tell you, your life will be transformed totally. Your life will be transformed. There will be a revolution in your life. All the caca ones that the enemies has eaten will be replaced in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for your children. As many that lack the spirit of the Holy Spirit, Father Almighty, send down revival upon their soul. Send down revival upon their life. Send down revival upon them, O Lord, my Heavenly Father, so that they will receive the power of the Holy Ghost for the glorification of your name. Shame to the devil in the name of Jesus because they believe God Almighty. Come and do this for them in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit that will teach them, that will lead them, that will show them things on how to move in their areas of life, oh God, my heavenly Father, Jesus, the protector, the guardian, please release them from heaven unto the life of your children that believe in the name of Jesus. These are us through your name, our Lord Jesus. Let me tell you, redemption has come. If you are still that person that is lacking behind, that is not believing, God does not need your money. God does not need anybody's opinion to bless you. God does not need pastor opinion to bless you. God does not need Reverend Father opinion to bless you. God does not need your mother or your father opinion to bless you. If you believe 
and you believe in Christ Jesus, he will give you that blessing that you desire, irrespective of whosoever that is against you. The power of the Lord is free. It is not to be bought with money. In the book of Matthew chapter 10, if you read it from, 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 from 1 to the end, when Jesus was giving instruction to the disciples, he said, freely, freely have I given unto you. Free shall you go and give to them. Don't collect money from them. The power of God is free. You don't buy it. You earn it by believing in the word of God. You earn it by believing in Christ Jesus. That is the only way you can fetch water from the well of salvation. Happiness. Because when you believe, then you will have happiness. Then there will be joy inside you, flowing like, like, like a river. Then shall you fetch water from the well of salvation. Peace will be in your life. You will just be like a bird controlling yourself in the sky. Hallelujah, somebody. I emphasize on every one of you. Believe in the name of Jesus and he will set you free from every devourer. He will set you free from every pain. He will set you free from every trouble that the enemy brings forth to you. Today is a day of redemption. Today is a day that you will remember if you decided to pray with me and you will see what God will do in your life. There shall be a thanksgiving before the ending of this year. You will testify. You will testify in Jesus' name. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you, my believers. I wish you all the best in your journey of life. I wish you all the best in everything that you do. I wish you all the best with Christ. So that at the end, we will make this world a better place for everybody. Thank you. I love you. And Jesus loves you more. I remain your evergreen, Egovin the Dutch. Stay blessed and God loves you. Bye.